Hello, my name is Claudia Rivas, and I am the librarian for your course, English 101, with Professor Markosian. This is a brief introduction to your LibGuide or library guide for your course, which will help you with your research for the semester. This is the home page of your LibGuide, and you'll find the URL for the course LibGuide up here at the top in the URL bar. But I'm also going to show you how to get to this LibGuide without the URL, but instead from our library homepage. To get to your LibGuide from our library homepage, you first need to find our library homepage. If you don't already know how to do that, you can Google Rio Hondo College Library, or from the Rio Hondo College main page, you will notice a series of circles with options. Library is the last one. You can click on that and it will take you to the library homepage. From here on the left hand side menu, you will select research guides. These are also called LibGuides. And on the far right hand side, you will notice the class guides for the current semester. This is for fall 2020. These are listed in alphabetical order by course. You will be looking for English 101, and then you'll look for your professor's name, Marcosian, and my name, your librarian, Claudia Rivas. Once you have the correct course, you can click on either one of these links, and it will open your LibGuide for you. So this is another way to find the LibGuide without having the URL. Now I'm going to point out a few resources that you can find on this LibGuide. On the home page, you will find some useful library links on the left hand side, links to our library homepage, to some FAQs, our library catalog, and databases for research. On the right hand side, you will find how you can contact librarians for research help this semester. So currently you can email us directly or email the library in general. You can text us a question. You can chat with us live by going to our library homepage, and you can also visit us at our library Zoom room for live help. You can talk to us. You don't have to activate your camera, but if this is helpful to you, these are your options. This is me, and I am the librarian for your course, so I will be the best one to help you with your assignment and your research. If you have any specific questions regarding your assignment, you can email me directly here by clicking on this link. And you'll see my email is crevas at riohondo.edu. On the bottom here, we have our social media links. I highly encourage students to follow us on social media because we're constantly changing our services and hours, and this will give you the most up-to-date information. On the left hand side is our current library hours for this fall semester, fall 2020. The librarians are available for remote uh, online services with chat, text, and Zoom, Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to noon, and then again from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. And on Fridays, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. We are not currently online Saturdays or Sundays, but you can still submit questions and tickets and we will answer them when we are next online. Our physical library is currently closed to students. We are only handling technology reservation distribution. And now let's go up to the additional tabs at the top. You'll notice at the top there are several tabs to your LibGuide. The first one is Find Books and eBooks, and there is a drop down option for tutorial videos. The next one is Find Articles. It also has a drop down menu for video tutorials. And then you have Evaluating Websites, Narrowing a Topic, which has a drop down for a topic development presentation, and then MLA 8 Citations which also includes a drop-down for Works Cited Tutorials. In the Find Books and eBooks tab, you'll find a link 
at the top of the page to our new library catalog called Primo. At the bottom, you will notice two options here. These are sample search results in Primo. The first option shows you search results and what different labels mean within those search results. I also give an explanation here at the bottom of what location means, call number, and available online. The next tab, Filter Results, shows you an explanation of the different types of filters you can use in the catalog and what they mean. Scrolling down to the bottom, I provide example details for book types. The first one is ebooks, because right now most likely you will be using more ebooks than print books. I've highlighted the ebooks and it shows you in our catalog what the different tools are and what they mean. The next option is for reserve books and the third option is for circulating books. Circulating books are books that typically go home with you. But right now, since the library is closed, no books are being currently checked out. So that's why I have ebooks as the default. On the left hand side, I have provided links to public libraries that may be of use to you in case our library does not have what you're looking for, and also some search tips on how to use the catalog. At the very top, I also have two handouts one on the Library of Congress classification system. This is how our books are organized in the library. And also a handout on understanding call numbers, which is how to locate books on the shelves. In the tutorial videos drop down option, you will find a series of videos that will help you, like this one with the LibGuide, and also on how to access the catalog, how to search for books how to use the filters, and also videos on how to access ebooks through our databases. Feel free to look through those videos for additional help on any of these areas. In the Find Articles tab, at the top you will find a list of recommended databases specifically for your assignment for this course and throughout your semester with this course. These are several different databases that I will be covering in additional videos in the drop down option where it says video tutorials. In the video tutorials, I give step by step instructions on how to use several of these databases. At the bottom of this page, I discuss some search tips. Some of these are discussed in the videos, some of them are not. So these are some reminders on how to use some of these tips in the databases. I also have here at the bottom a reminder to you that when you are accessing these databases from home or off campus, you will need to log in to Access Rio to access and view all of the information from our databases. So when you click on one of these links when you are on off campus, it will take you to a login page. Similar to this, all you need to do is type in your Access Rio username and password. On the right hand side, you have a popular versus scholarly section. These are handouts on different types of articles to help you distinguish between scholarly and non-scholarly. And this handout about scholarly journals is much more detailed, giving you an in-depth overview of the difference between different article types. The evaluating websites tab is on how to evaluate websites that you find on the internet, such as when you do a Google search. I don't recommend doing Google searches for research unless you have exhausted your resources in our databases first. So let's say you've tried finding articles on your topic in our databases and you are stuck and you can't find anything. Um, if you don't want to contact a librarian, although that would be my first recommendation is contact a librarian for help. Um, with using the databases and finding articles. If you want to take a chance with uh, searching through Google, then this page is meant to help you do that. The first thing you need to know is that not every website is reliable. And so when you do a search in Google, you actually have to do the extra work of evaluating whether the website or online source is a reliable one for your research. 
So I have a presentation here that discusses that. I have a quick checklist of items on the right hand side. I have two evaluation forms on the left hand side for you to download and print. And I also have some outside resources here on the left to help you further in evaluating those online resources. Just a reminder that your first option should be to go through our databases because our databases are academically reliable and these are paid for subscriptions through your college. That is why you need to log into Access Rio to access them. They are provided exclusively for our students and our faculty members. And as I mentioned, they are academically reliable. So they take that work away from you of having to figure out if they're good sources or not. With websites, you will have to do the extra work of evaluating. In narrowing a topic tab, this tab helps you with narrowing your topic if you're having a hard time by yourself figuring out how to narrow down your topic. I give you a handout here to use and an example of this handout to assist you. There's also a separate worksheet here to assist you in narrowing your topic. I also give you an overview here of different ways that you can look at your topic and think about your topic in order to narrow it down. I also provide some links here at the bottom to assist you with subject guides, hot topics, and a list of topics to give you ideas if you're struggling with finding an original topic. This is if your professor has not assigned you a topic and you are on your own to um, choose a topic and to narrow it down. This tab should definitely help you with that. And there is an accompanying presentation to assist you with these two work, this worksheet here on the top left. The MLA 8 citations tab provides you with the MLA guide that the library has put together for all of our students to assist with MLA citations. This is using the most recent MLA citation style guide from 2016. This is MLA 8th edition. So you'll notice here this is a multi-page, several page document and it provides different examples of how to cite different sources. At the very end you will also see a sample works cited page. You can always blow this up by clicking here and it will fill up the entire page. You can hit escape in order to exit out from this view. You can also download and print this document if you'd like to. An additional resource I've included here is a link to Al Purdue. This is the Purdue University Online Writing Lab. It is a free resource. Um, it's very useful and helpful. Librarians use this all the time when helping students with citations. And also in your drop down menu options, I have included some tutorials on how to create a works cited page, both in Word and also in Google Docs for MLA 8. And that's pretty much it for your LibGuide. Please remember that if you have any questions in regards to this course or your assignments for this course, please feel free to contact me directly or contact any of the librarians during our online hours or offline through the research help box here. Good luck.